Hey guys, um, today I wanted to show off some of the boards I have. This is the original Mad Max uh, Duo 6374 flip ski setup. Um, I had a video on it uh, on my main channel, check it out, where I go off-road. It's an awesome board. Um, this is the new board I'm ma making. Let's go to my garage uh, and get some skate shoes. Um, I always wear a skate shoes with large contact patch. That helps you uh, stay on the board, especially when you go fast. So always wear skate shoes because with the grip tape, the skate shoe just, you know, let's say I wore these uh, Skechers. I don't wear my Skechers when I skateboard. I wear my Globe skateboard shoes and they're just so wide. And that's, you know, that's a huge part of like, you know, being safe and stuff. So I'll just go by all the boards I have here. This is the Vestar, the mini one. Um, I don't know, for some reason, the battery, uh, cuts off the, the, vet, the, the BMS, because they have the two models, they have the one with Sanyo battery, they have the cheaper battery, don't get the cheaper battery, I try to go up hills, it, the battery cuts out, um, so I've been talking to Vestar, trying to get that replaced, um, I've got the Vestar Blackhawk, this, on the other hand, is awesome, it's got Samsung 35, 10s5p battery uh 6368 motors very powerful um the all-terrain wheels are great now if you ride fast and start going riding too much you want to get some more speed so what i'm doing is i'm going to switch out the all-terrain wheels for uh, street wheels like a 90 millimeter so to do that i have to actually order um because this shaft is 10 millimeters uh, instead of the uh, street wheel eight millimeters so what you can do is get a bearing that's actually bigger for street wheels now i tried to doing that but the problem is now start there's not enough space between the motor pulley so you need to get a spacer so i ordered a bunch of spacers and i gotta make some custom spacers um i think 15 millimeter sp spacers so i'll have a tutorial on that soon and that should allow you to get almost 30% more power and range off this. And then I got the Meepo, uh, the M1 uh, ER, the ER Mini Meepo with the good Samsung uh, 10S 2P battery, uh, Samsung 40T. Um, I did like this when I unboxed it, but I've been having problems where the remote sort of loses connection. The remote they use, uh, it's, got some problems because i've used it with my uh one of my older on park boards um so i don't know if you swap out the remote it might be better i'm still testing it out there is voltage sag especially on these steep hills if you're going on flat ground you won't have problems it is a fast board it's a really nice board uh but if you ride on the steep hills that where i live as you guys see in my videos um after you know after a while your board sorts of sort of heats up um, and some voltage sag and like I said some connection drop it's not unsafe because you can always it's a hub so if if you lose connection the board keeps going but even then um, it's a good board I feel like um, if I replace it with Vesk it could run a lot better so that's gonna be one of my future projects um, this is my own board bamboo uh, this has got a, a also Samsung 35e 10s 4p very similar to this board uh but a little bit less power especially going up steep hills on flat ground pretty much same but i notice uh the hobby wing it's been limited on this one versus this so the problem with hobby wing is you know it's set so if you live on steep hills you can't set it higher um and then i've got the sorry that that was not the vestar that this is the vestar um, this is the own board M1 with also Samsung 40T. It's got very good battery, uh, 5045 motors, pretty good setup. Uh, again, with this one, when I go up steep hills, uh, it's just not that fast. But this board is just as fast as uh, the Boosted Mini S, which is actually my first electric skateboard I bought uh, August 2019. Um, so in terms of that, it's it's okay, but the problem with Ohmboard is that, again, it uses Hobby Wing. It's got a really nice 40T battery, uh, but Ohmboard has really limited 
uh, how much power you could output. So on steep hills, I'm just not going fast enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that with Vesk eventually. Um, that's the prototype I built today under an hour. That's the Mad Max uh, Mini. Sorry, this is the fastest board I have. Um, and I was actually trying to, as you guys know, if you're subscribed, uh, I was trying to make drag wheels, uh, drift wheels. And then today I was testing and um, basically this board had too much power. The PVC is simply not a good choice. It works on like drifting trikes, but the way skateboards work is that there's more, gra uh, more of your weight is just going straight to the wheels. And so there, this material is just too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out with some of the harder urethane wheels. Um, and the problem with that is that, you know, with PVC, it starts creating these grooves when it hits small rocks and stuff or, you know, on the road. And then it actually makes it uh, so it's not slidable. It actually gets more grip. And then eventually it'll just fall out. Um, so I think I cover all the boards. So Mad Max Mini... This is a uh, dual 6355 torque board motors. Uh, I changed the deck a bunch of times. 12S2P Samsung uh, 40T batteries. Uh, Flipski 4.20 plus. And right now I'm actually running MBS wheels. Um, those are just uh, wheels. And that's my first uh, boosted Mini S. Um, when I first got that, it felt really fast. I, and I've, I really loved it and it will go up all the hills and then after uh, that I actually bought uh, the Vestar Blackhawk and this thing goes up the hills way faster than Mini S um, way more range so I was like oh and then I got the own board very similar slightly less power um, and then you know I started building my own board and upgrading it and when I started writing this for a few weeks and when I went back to all my other boards it was just just not fast enough so my next board is going to be the uh this as you guys know the 6374 um i think that's all the boards i have i built a few more boards but you know i took them apart and you know start upgrading so this this is like a third or fourth iteration where i changed the decks motors wheels a bunch of times and i'm finally satisfied with this um and this as you guys know, uh, just, just a board I made with some spare parts because I had some extra time. Anyway, that's all the boards I have. Uh, my goal on this channel is to try different boards and also make my own boards um, to make it better just the way I want to. And I do see some problems with boards that I've bought. Um, you know, maybe it can't go up the hills. Uh, even these now. I could, you know, I, I want to go up faster, so that's why I'm going to swap out the wheels. And I find that, you know, there's a different board for every type. For example, the hub motors, I would ne never go up hills with this. Meepo, you could. It just, it just it puts a lot of strain. When you have hub and you have no gearing, that means the whole motor is powering. Um, in the future, we'll have better motors, more efficient motors. And that problem could be solved but for right now if you want to go up hills um, belt is a way to go or maybe even a four-wheel drive hub um so yeah this is just my prototyping um but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions about the boards uh let me know uh, i'll be happy to answer them and doctor e uh, is out bye